buddy before we get into this morning's update i want to go over a few quick points that have come across this early morning first the u.s courts have told the sec they have one week to reply to coinbase's petition on rulemaking so they've got one week to reply to this i've got the official document that explains in detail exactly what's going on the second thing is the ripple ceo explains why the SEC went after Coinbase and Binance. We'll see how much credence there is there. And then we also have to take a look at XRP's chart as it's just about at the 53 cent mark. It was just over it as I looked this morning. So we're gonna take a look as we got back above and held the 0.522 support, which was a way to invalidate that death cross in the one hour time frame. You hold the 52.22 and push up. Our technical target could be 585, but we'll show exactly what needs to happen there. Make sure to hit the like button as it will greatly help push me through the analytics. And if you were part of Tom's Army and you wanted to maintain a membership in Tom's Army, make sure you check on YouTube because they updated their terms of service. And I know a bunch of people were automatically taken off because you must update and agree to their new terms. So that's just something to pay attention to. So make sure you hit that like button as it will greatly help push me through the analytics. And remember, positivity over negativity. We're trying to build a positive environment here so we can have as many people included as possible and not have that exclusion. So the more positive mindset we have, the more energy we build around us. And the stronger the energy, the more we can intertwine with each other. Make sure you hit the like button. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I want to do this update now. I've got to take my son to his physical therapy as he has it every week at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I greatly appreciate you taking the time to at least give my content an opportunity. I have three simple rules we live by in here. One, I no matter... The size of your wallet, I believe everybody has, uh, they should have the opportunity to learn. So for that matter, I do not charge for my content. I believe that we deserve a FUD free and a, um, and done so without a Hopium style so that we can understand where the proper trades are to be taken. And three, I believe we need to put positivity over negativity. We're bringing back the spirituality and not the negativity. So U.S. court tells SEC to respond to Coinbase's rulemaking petition within a week. A U.S. judge has ordered the SEC to respond to Coinbase's rulemaking petition or explain why it shouldn't. So I want to read this because this is exactly what it says. Let me bring this. Uh, it says, United States Courts of Appeal for the Third Circuit. In view of Coinbase's request and its reply in support of the petition for writ of mandamus for the alternative relief of ordering the SEC to submit periodic reports to the court regarding the commission's progress and on Coinbase's petition for rulemaking the chair statements to both Congress and the public that current relation or regulations are sufficient for digital assets and the enforcement actions the SEC has recently filed against Coinbase and others without having ruled on Coinbase's petition. The SEC is hereby ordered to submit at least, submit a letter within seven days of this order addressing the following issues. One, whether the SEC has now decided to deny Coinbase's petition for rulemaking. Two, if not, how much additional time the SEC requires to decide whether to grant or deny that petition. And three, why this court should not retain jurisdiction in A, order periodic reports as Coinbase has proposed, and or B, Establish a deadline by which the court will rule on Coinbase's petition for writ of mandamus if the SEC has not yet granted or denied the petition for rulemaking. Coinbase may but is not required to file a response within five days of the SEC's filing. Each submission shall not exceed 10 pages double space. So that's what's going on this morning. Um, if you're wondering what the uh, U.S. judge, what that was all about, giving um, the SEC one week to reply to Coinbase's uh, petition, that's what it's about. And then Ripple CEO, this is why the SEC is suing Coinbase and Binance. And then after this, we'll take a look at XRP. 
Ripplehead believes there's a deeper reason behind the SEC's most recent actions. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission made its way into the headline in the past two days by going after two of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges, alleging them of selling unregistered securities. While the SEC chair claims these actions are for the greater good of investors, the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, believes there's another reason. FTX, anyone? In the span of just 24 hours, the SEC launched two high-tier lawsuits against two of the industry's most prominent heavyweight finance at Coinbase. Yada, yada, yada. Although they have been some differences in the details, both lawsuits are quite similar in their core as they allege that the two exchanges are selling and issuing in the case of Binance unregistered securities in the form of various digital assets such as BNB, BUSD, Solana, Matic, ADA, and others. Interesting, the lawsuit failed to mention Ripple's native token XRP, even though the SEC has been in the legal battle against the blockchain company for over two years in the regard of the, to the same. Nevertheless, the firm CEO, who has openly criticized the securities with regulator multiple times in the past decided to weigh in on the matter so brad garlinghouse says it wasn't already clear if it wasn't already clear it should be now chair gensler's laughable pro innovation stance as he said today is exactly the opposite what this also tells me is the sec is throwing lawsuits at the wall and hoping they distract from the agency's ftx debacle it's embarrassing to watch an unelected bureaucrat flail like this to mask the fact that he and his agency don't have the power that he so desperately craves no one is fooled gary Gensler was uh, we don't need to read the rest but that's what brad garlinghouse said and now i want to get into the xrp charts because it's getting a little long here in the update it's already been six minutes i do appreciate everybody tuning in as we can see the dxy is down to 103 spot 71 so right now this is very critical we talked yesterday if we lose the 103 spot 67 there is a chance we could come back all the way down to 102 spot 60 but right now we need to watch to see if in fact in the daily time frame whoops in the daily time frame good morning in the uh daily time frame we did have a we're about to have a golden cross so if we do have a golden cross this would be the spot where you want to hold support 103 spot six seven or you can come all the way back down to 103 spot four nine have a quick wick down and then pull back up like we had multiple ones here so right now that still looks bullish unless we were to break down the 102 spot 60 that's when it would start to reverse back down so you have to pay very close attention to that total crypto market cap did exactly what we said yesterday came back up and now here's the urgency here dxy came up we talked about if it needed to get back or if it was going to get back bullish first we knew we had to come back down and get rejected at 1.095 once you get the rejection now you come back down to the support in the two hours in the two hour time frame now if you want to stay bullish you push out and try to push to 113.95 if it becomes bearish you will get a rejection at 1.08 some at some point today or tomorrow otherwise this could be a little bull flag on a reversal here and then it could pop up to 1.139 that's what we're watching today so that's exactly what we're watching today um xrp is at 0 0.5308 up 0.15 percent on the day had a beautiful recovery here yesterday we circled it and we talked about if it broke up and held that as the support structure, our technical target would be the 0 0.5585, ultimately trying to get us back up the pattern double top or complete this inverted head and shoulders, which is still very much valid, and try to complete the pattern formation at 585. So that's what we're looking at right now. That technical target from yesterday, if we were to if we would have got rejected at the 51 cent mark, we knew the technical target was 4602, but the way it was um trending and the way we were starting to create a little reversal we knew if it hold the 20 day at around 41 cents the technical or 51 cents the technical target up is 5585 and we played it accordingly so that's how we're looking right now and unless we lose the 5222 this support structure if we hold it we should be coming up to 5585 at some point today um we did get another rejection so far at 5375 so we'll see how that plays out because it went to 537 then it came back down but it's holding a very strong 522 support. So we're going to see exactly how this plays out today. I know it's a lot of ifs and, you know, and ors, but got to play it that way. Bitcoin's down 429 points or 1.58% at 26,807. Looks like a bull flag was put in at a very good spot too. So if this were to bring us up, this could bring us over 28,000. If this pushes up, I like the 30 minute time frame for these smaller segments because it's all merging we can see this we had a golden cross in the 30 and the 45 and we're trying to hold the 45 golden cross and that's a big signal right now if we hold this right now this is coming up and we'll have to contend with 28k today so that would be a better than 1300 point move now conversely if this does break down 
that would be a bad sign. If we break down, say we lose the 26,350, it would be a bad sign because we still got to come back down to the bottom of the pattern if it breaks down, and that's around 25,194. But right now, the way it pushed up like that, this could bring us all the way to 29,000 if we're being honest with ourselves. So we still have a, it's somewhat of a bearish setup, but it got back on top of the 20 day. And now it looks like small bull flags are being put in. So we need to pay attention very closely. So pay attention to what's in this update. Watch the markers closely. I got to get my son ready for his therapy at 12 o'clock. So I've got to go. I got to get in the shower. Um, I'll have a live this afternoon. So hopefully we'll get a nice input. Last night's videos, we did okay. Nothing spectacular, but I want to thank the people or everybody the, um, in the audience that took the time to watch the videos. Not every day are going to be as popular and not every topic is going to be as popular. So I do the best I can. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Hashtag be better, do better.